Hi, this is Michael Worst from uh, Rural Solutions SA, uh, and we're here today to film uh, the Red Meat and Wool Focus Farm of Greg, Jane and Sam Kellogg here at uh, Farrell Flat in the mid-north of South Australia. And today the video will explore the livestock technologies that uh, they're using here on the Focus Farm and also looking at the management decisions that they've made and also looking at some of the benefits with using all that technology. For our sheep enterprise, we're a pole merino self-replacing and the aim of it is to produce an, an ethical animal. So it's unmilsed um, and we're producing a dual purpose animal. I'm very much focused on the wool as well as the meat. We were asked to be a focus farm and, and made the decision that we would. We've always been very open to new technologies and always open to learning new things and networking with producers. We like to share what we do and I think we're reasonable communicators. One of our other key goals is to ensure that we've got um, good outcomes for reproduction. Um, so we've made a decision to go down a bit more precision management. So to do that, you have to have some technologies to make that much simpler for you. So in 2014, we made the decision to go into EIDs and we put EIDs in all our ewes, our hoggets and our lambs. That has really helped us to be able to give us some information to ensure that we're meeting our reproductive targets. The EIDs is only a small part of it. Um, it's what you do with the data management and how you use that data to give you good outcomes is the most important part. Some examples of some technology that we use on our um, farm that have really helped our business have been fleece testing. We get Cousins Merino services to come in and use the OFTA and that gives us the full range of Merino tests. So the OFTA has the ability to measure a variety of traits. Um, it's measured the micron, so the mean is the mean of all the fibres measured, so it's 17.8 micron. Coefficient of variation, your CV, 16.3. The standard deviations, you've got comfort factor, which was 100%. You've got the number of fibres measured, which is 2,694 fibres were measured from that slide. So quite a significant number to, to get that mean um, figure. We have the length, as Joan's spoken about, it's quite important for them, their operation, so that was 65 millimetres. The OFTA also provides us with a histogram, so we've got the histogram of that sample. And one of the um, really important ones for us is staple length because we shear six monthly, so it's really incredibly important that we have animals that will grow a long um, staple, so it's a, it, that's a vital part of our business. It also gives us a staple profile, which is over here. So it shows us if there's been any changes, predominantly in nutrition, or it could be in animal health that has caused any stress to the animal, or it could actually be going from a poor pasture to a good pasture. In this example, that, that's quite a stable, obviously, um, staple profile, but you can get some quite big jumps or dips, and that's obviously where you'd get a break in your wool. Another profit driver is fleece weight. Normally when we are fleece testing, we've um, got someone here shearing and we scan the, the tag. That then prints out a barcode, which I then put on the table. Um, when the rouseabout picks the fleece up, I match the, the barcode to whatever stand it is and I then scan the barcode which gives us a reading. The Rousey's put the fleece on the scales and then that gives us a fleece weight. Another key component for us is preg scanning. We have been doing that for a long time and it was one of the key reasons why we went to EIDs because we had ewes walking around with lots of ear tags. So the decision was made that we would go to EIDs to ensure that we were using that data in a more efficient way. We can then manage our twins and single ewes differentially. So um, for us, the, the most critical component of, um, of your lambing is your nutrition. So to be able to manage your twin ewes um, in a way where they're getting the best nutrition is vitally important for our reproduction. 
Uh, so one of the main pieces of machinery, I suppose, that we've purchased a long time ago was a combi clamp. Uh, we've adapted that a little bit to suit our needs, but it's very good at performing other operations in uh, drenching and vaccinating and crutching. So Greg's uh, weighing the lamb and condition scoring and uh, he'll record that in the scale head um, and the, the tag's been um, scanned and automatically gone into the scale head so we know which animal it is. That's recorded and then we can let it go. We've just found it a very good unit. Uh, it's not the biggest and the best but it's um it works very well. We use a few programs um, at the moment to manage our EIDs and get the information and collect and keep the information. We use um, Stockbook um, and then on a mob based we use AgriWeb which also we're using to collect our cropping information so all our paddock data we also use RAM Select, which keeps record of our genetic information for rams, as well as it records our DNA testing that we've done from our flock, from our ewe hoggets, which also um, stores all of that information. With that, we can easily see genetic change and the differences that we're having with the choices that we make. Another key tool that we use is uh, a moisture probe uh, and weather station. Um, that tells us uh, moisture levels up to a metre deep in the ground and uh, helps us make some really good decisions in, uh, for pasture management as well as cropping um, around fertiliser and, and those sorts of things. You know, for us, when we're making decisions about technologies, it has to be good for our profitability, good for our business, but also good for our people. So we need to ensure that we're looking after our people. So um, just think new yards will, will make that much better. We had a look at the auto drafter today, which was one auto drafter. There's a lot on the market. One of the other items that we're looking at is walkover weighing in the lamb feedlot. And uh, that's certainly an area we think is better for the animal as well as um, it certainly take the pressure off the people as well. So so I've done a bit of investigation on some pasture monitoring. Certainly when we've put drones up over the property where you think you've got really good pasture cover, when you put a drone up, you realise that your bare ground is a lot more than anticipated. I think there are some really great new technologies out in that space and uh, pasture monitoring is, is a huge part of that nutritional benefit for the animals. So, I'd like to thank Greg and Jane for their support as being a focus farm and also their input into this video.